What's up guys, Guillaume Zerin, welcome back to Tour de France 2021 for a video in which we're going to take a look at the new databases. But before we start, I have to thank all of you because, um, well, yesterday we reached 2,000 subscribers on the channel. Uh, and I mean, it, it was a huge day for videos. I couldn't sleep the day before because I had too much to edit, but it was worth it. 2,000 subs. Uh, I've said it on my Discord. I've said it in my community tab, but... I'm really, really grateful. I'm not the best with like um, compliments and just expressing my feelings, but you lot genuinely rock and I, I love you all. So genuinely, thank you for the 2000 subs and hopefully we can uh, keep moving forward with this um, edition of TDF and PCM. No, uh, no face cam, sorry, today. Because of all the quality yesterday kind of disappointed me and also the sun is currently blinding me and I mean, I'd have to play with my eyes closed uh, if I wanted to see anything today with some uh, decent lighting. So, no camera, but again, thank you for the 2000 subs. We're going to move on to the video now. Let's take a look at the editor and the three databases. Now, what has to be mentioned, all three databases are currently the same. And if you edit one of them, oh sorry, if you edit the names of some of the riders, you also edit all three. So if you want to change the names of, for example, um, I don't know, the current quick step, or their riders at least, that will apply to all three databases. So you can have a funky database and have, I don't know, like football players in one database, NBA players in the other, and just actual cyclists in the other one. One thing uh, that some of you did ask me though was to check the teams that are going at the World Championship. So we've got Australia, Belgium, Colombia, France, Germany, United Kingdom, Italy, Netherlands, Norway, and Spain. And then Africa, America, Asia, East Europe, which consists, I believe, of Slovenia and Poland. There we go, Slovenia, Poland, and Rhein Tarame. And you've got West Europe, which is Denmark, Luxembourg, Ireland, and Switzerland. So no Danish team um, as a sole team, but they are playing with East Europe. Okay, the way we're going to um, check the lineups is going to be very simple. We're going to go team by team. We'll take a look at the highest rated riders in the team up until 75 average, because I don't want this to be too long or too boring. I'm guessing the stats are very similar with the one on PCM. Uh, but we're going to start with Ajax Desert Citroën. Their two leads are obviously three, uh, sorry, two cobble riders. You've got Van Avermaet, who has seven, uh, 81 cobbles, and Oli Nazen with 80. You've got Bob Jungles following at 77 time trial and 77 cobbles, 77 hills as well, very complete rider. Uh, Benoît Cosnefroy, 78 hills. Nance Peters, who's the best climber of this team with 74 apparently, I'd be surprised. There we go. Benoît Connor has 75, that's better. Marc Saro has 76 points, he's the fastest man in this team. Mika Cherel, 74, 74, 81 downhill for the Frenchman. Clément Champoussin with 76 mountain and 77 hills. Very, very consistent and strong rider. Geoffrey Bouchard, the latest um, king of the mountains on the Giro with 76 and 72. And finally, Clément Venturini with his 75 sprints. Okay, 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 okay. I think that's what we're going to do throughout the entire teams. That's somewhat quick, uh, fast paced, dynamic. You don't need to skip. Moving on, to Alpes and Phoenix, we've only got three riders above 75, so we'll take a look until, uh, probably is Paragli for this one, but you've got Mathieu van der Poel, 83 flat, 84 acceleration, 82 stamina, 83 cobblestone, 79 sprint, 81 hill, 84 downhill, 84 resistance. Are you mad? Are you genuinely mental? Are you taking the base? That's 82.6 of an average. We'll take a look, but he probably is one of the strongest riders in this game. Um, and... I mean, that team is going to be very strong on the sprint aspect. You've got Tim Malia with 79 sprint and 78 acceleration. And you've got Jasper Philipsen, 78 sprint, 76 acceleration. However, a 71 in hills. Zander Mose is the only climber in this team, 74 mountain for the Belgian with Dries de Mont, uh, just having 75 sprint, to be fair. It's quite decent. I didn't expect that from him. 71 cobblestone was the stats I expected to be uh, the highest. And Zbarigli, 74 sprint, 75 hills if you're going for um, uh, a pro team. Sparkly could do a very decent signing. Moving on to Arca Samzik, we've got Nero Quintana, 81 mountain, 77 hill, and 71 time trial. I think he's one of the funniest, uh, or the funniest riders to, um, or no, not one of the funniest riders. I don't think, I mean, he might be funny, but I'm not sure about that. But Arca is probably one of the most enjoyable teams you can pick for a Tour de France. They actually might be the team I'll pick, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but you've got Warren Barguil joining him with 77 mountain, 79 hills, and 70 cobblestones. You've got Nasser Boigny for the sprint, that is uh, if he doesn't uh, deviate from his line with 77 sprint. Diego Rosa, 70, 76 mountain for Diego Rosa and 74 hills. Capio, 75 hill, uh, sprint, sorry, Macri, 75, and the rest of the team is below 75. 
Astana Premier Tech. Their three best riders are three climbers, three Grand Tour leaders. You've got Vlasov, 80-79. Uh, you've got Fulsong, 79-79. And you've got Izaguirre, 78-77. Three strong riders. Joining them is Alexey Lutsenko with 74 mountains, 78 hills. A very complete stat. His lowest stat being 71 in stamina. Sorry, 17 in sprint, actually. As you can see, extremely complete on uh, the wheel uh, that you can see on the right-hand side of your screen. You've got Alex Arambur, uh, who has some complete stats as well. 70, uh, sorry, 67 mountains, 77 hill, 81 downhill, and 71 sprint. I believe the sprints could be slightly um, higher for, um, for Alex. And the Spanish champion, Luis Leon Sanchez. 71 mountains, 75 time trial, 76 hills. Your classic stats for Baruda. We'll just take a look at Goka Izaguirre. 74 mountain, 76 hills, 74 uh, down. BNB, not very, uh, not a very good lineup for um, the uh, Continental Pro team with uh, Brian Kokar as the leader, 77 in sprint, 73 in hills, 77 in acceleration. Deron being the climber, 76 and 72 for uh, some very similar stats to the one of Geoffrey Bouchard. We'll most likely have some attack de Pierre Roland later this year. Quentin Pache is the third best rider, 73 mountain, 76 hill. Could be an interesting rider as well if you're doing a Pro Tour. Uh, or oh, pro team, sorry, Jonathan Hiver and Cyril Gauthier also fitting in that very specific role. Moving on to Bora Hansgrohe, you've got Pascal Ackermann as the highest rated rider on the team, 81 in sprint uh, for the German former uh, German champion. Peter Sagan, 76 acceleration, 77 flat, 71 time trial, 76 time and 81 cobble, 77 sprint, 84 hills, 84 downhill, 74 prologue and 75 resistance, a recovery of A. Complete, um, he's Starting to feel the toll of time on his uh, on his stats compared to Mathieu van der Poel, that is much weaker. Emmanuel Bourman is the Grand Tour leader of this team with 78 mountain and 77 hills. If you uh, haven't seen the Giro playthrough I did last week or so, I highly suggest to uh, go and do so as I took Boransgro on the Giro d'Italia. Maxi Schachmann has the uh, leadership in the hills with 80 in that element and 78 in time trial. Wilco Kellerman. The podium finish of last year's Giro, 78 mountain, 76 hills, 75 time trial. Very complete if Bourgman is having an off days on the Tour de France. Lenny Kamna, 78, 75, 72. So basically the same stats um, as Kelderman, but slight, slightly weaker. Niels Polit with 78 cobblestone. Uh, does that make him better than Peter Sagan? It does not. So Polit will be a teammate for Peter Sagan. Uh, also there in the time trial with 77. Mashi Bonnard, only good stats. 78 in time trial and 79 in prologue. Patrick Conrad, 77 mountain, 78 hills, 67 in time trial for uh, the Austrian rider. Followed by his teammates and um, fellow countrymen, Felix Groschartner, 75 mountain, 77 hills, 73 time trial. Some good stats again for a rider you can have for the breakaways. Marcus Bogart in the final rider above 75 with 77 cobblestone, very similar to Nils Polit in the cobblestone aspect. However, the rest, the rest, sorry, of his stats. On Final order of Boran's go with Alche because I know that there is a massive fan of Ide Schelling. Uh, 68 mountain, 76 hills, 66 downhills, 58 cobbles. Ide Schelling has been absolutely murdered, but you better be sure that on PCM at least, the World GB will make its job to um, give his stats uh, a bit of an upgrade because he deserves it. Those stats are absolutely horrendous. Moving on to Bahrain Victorious, and we have Mikel Landa as the leader. He's been freed. 81 mountain, 77 hill for the Spaniard. Uh, we'll have a lot of competition in this team because you've got then Caruso, 78 mountain, 76 hills. I would expect those stats to be upgraded following his Giro d'Italia, 74 time trial as well for the Italian rider. Pio Biro, the uh, Spanish time trial champion, 77, 76, 75. You've got then Hermann Pensteiner, 76, 75 for the Austrian. The Lenton's 75, 78, and some very solid stats all across the board. Only 67 as a stats below 80. Sorry, below 70. Mitzi Mohoric, uh, whose lack of um of super tuck might hinder at least knowing the downhill stats. 85 for the Slovenian. Um, very solid stats as well. 68 being his lowest stat in the sprint element. Jack Egg is the um next rider in this team. 77, 76. For uh, the uh, Australian rider, followed by Whitepool, 76, 76, 74 in time trial. For uh, the Dutch rider, Pilberhaus is the fastest man in this team with 77 in sprint. Heinrich Hausler is the best in cobbles with 77. Cole Rally, 74 cobbles, 76 sprints, 75 in hills. He's typically the kind of sprinter you want if you're going, if you're going for a Tour de France um, in a created team. Jan Tratnik is the only rider, is the last rider we'll take a look at. 
um, with 77 in Prologue, 75 in Central, 65 in Mountain. Actually, we'll take a look at uh, Ginomeda, 75 Mountain, and 74 Hills for the winner of Stage 6 of the Joint Insider. Team Bike Exchange, um, leaving the draw in third position, is led by Simon Nates, 79 Seven. Mountain for the British Rider, and 79 Hills as well, 74 in Time Trial, quite a complete set for a Grand Tour contender. Chavez, 78 Mountain, 78 Hills, is this 2012? It very well might be. Lucas Hamilton, 77-76, solid stats for the Australian. Michael Matthews, again, a very um, very solid stats all across the board, similar to Lutsenko, worst stat being 70 in Mountain, but 73 times all, 73 in the Cobbles, 75 in Sprint, 77 in Hills. I'm afraid that uh, Michael Matthews might have spread his focus all across the board and sadly lost his edge on the stats uh, where he was the best, i.e. the Sprint and the Hills. Daniel Kangat is there for Estonia, 74 Mountain, 74 Hills, 74 Central, and finally Duke Dobridge with 75 in time trial. Bin goal, um, we'll take a look at like the first four, I guess. Timothy Dupont is the highest rated runner in this team with 76 in sprint and 76 acceleration, very decent for the Belgian runner. Arjen Levins, who's had a very strong start of the season in real life with 74 cobbles and 75 in hills. Gilles Van Andert, winner on, uh, oh, was it the Plateau? It was in the Plateau Bay, right? Where was it that he won? He won the stage on the 2011 Tour de France. It might have been the Plateau de Bay. I'll say Plateau de Bay. It probably isn't that, but I'll say it. Um, he's far from um, his glory days because 70 Mountain, 74 Hills for the Belgian, and finally Sean Deby, 73 Sprint, uh, and 71 Cobble. Kofidis, led by Guillaume Martin, has 79 Mountain, 77 in Hills. Jesus Ferrada is the second best rider in the team, 77, 77, 70. Christophe Laporte, 74 Cobbles, 77 Sprint. Elia Viviani, 71 cobbled, 77 sprint. Viviani is as good a sprinter as Amrik Laporte. That's a bit of a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. Oh boy, we're going to have a lot of riders in this team, aren't we? De Colon Quick Steps, led by Sum Benef. 83 sprints, 80 accelerations, 70 hills. Fuck me. Julian Philippe, 81.5. Actually, so there is there are a point behind Mathieu Van Der Poel, despite name stats. Okay. Alaf. 75 flat, 82 acceleration, 75 mountain, 77 time troll, 75 cobbles, 70 sprints, 83 hills, 84 downhill, 78 product, 71, uh, sorry, 81 resistance. Fucking hell. Remy Cavagna, uh, complete stats for Barbuda, 81 time troll, is the key stat you look at. Casper Asgren, 81 cobbles, is the main stat, 68 in sprints, it's kind of shit. 17 five in hill for the uh, Danish rider, followed by Yves Lampard. 82 cobbles for Yves Lampard. That is... Wrong, um, 70 hills, 70 sprint. Remco Evenepoel, 79 mountain, 77 hills, 81 time trial. Those stats should be lowered in a couple of days. Davide Ballerini, sorry, Ballerens, uh, 79 in sprint, mad. Zdenek Stibal with 79 in cobbles. Joao Almeo, uh, 77 mountain, 76 hills, 76 time trial. Florian Senechat, 78 cobbles and 73 sprint. Fausto Masnar, uh, 76, 75. Fabio Jucopso, 77 sprint. Marx, Mirko Sivendash, the classic, 77 in sprint. Mauri Van Sevenant with 75, 77. Uh, and we'll take a look at the last three. Uh, Josef Sani, 76, jump troll. Uh, Andrea Begioli, 71 mountain, 77 hills. James Nott, 76, 75. And Mikael Morcao, 75 sprint. All right, Delco. Uh, not too much, only three riders, I guess. Uh, Grosu, 74, 74, sprint in hill. Siskevisu, 74 in cobbles. And Biniam Gadamai, 74 in hill. And that's it. I expected maybe better stats for Biniam. EF Nippo, Hugh Carthy, Uran, and Higuita to lead the team. Carthy, 79, 77. Uran, 77, 77. Higuita, 78, 78. Okay. Betiol has uh, 80 cobble. Sorry, 78 cobble. 75 time troll and 74 hills and 73 sprint. Very solid stats for the Italian rider. Bissega with 72 sprint and 79 time troll. Court Nielsen being the final rider in this team will take a look at. 73 time troll, 73 in stamina, 72 in cobble, 73 in sprint, 75 in hill. Once again, a very complete rider and a stupendous moustache. Group MFDG led by Arnaud Demar. Uh, 81 acceleration, 82 sprint, 73 hills, 75 cobble, 71 time troll. Probably this... The best sprinter you can get, if I'm being honest. He, wow, the French bias is strong, because Thibaut Pinot is next. 80, 80 Mountain, 76 Hills, and 74 Time Trial. Thibaut has been uh, very much nice by the devs. 
Stefan Kung is next, European Time Trial Champion and Swiss World Champion with 79 in the um, timed element. Godu with 78-79, uh, Rudy Mollar 74-78, Tobias Ludwigsen 76 Time Trial, Reichenbach 76-75 with 65 in downhill. Actually, let's take a look at Madouas 75-77 for the Frenchman. I'll take a quick look at Armirai for, for Mr. Timsowski, 71 Mountain, 74 Hills, 74 Time Trial. Good stats. And Jake Stewart, very complete stats overall. Another very good rider if you're starting a pro team. Right, yet another team where there's way too many riders to mention. Egan Bernal, 82.6. Tied with Mathieu van der Polden as the highest rider we've added yet. 82 Mountain and 78 Hills for the Colombian winner of the Tour de France and more recently of the Giro d'Italia. Ghana, the Time Trial World Champion, 83 in Time Trial. Uh, but also 72 hills, which makes him an absolute beast. Carapaz, 81, 78. Gegenhardt, 79, 76, 73. Richie Porte, 79, 78, 77. Rondonis, 76, 74, 81. Piddus, 81 in sprint. Sorry, 81 in hills, 73 in sprint, and 75 in cobbles. Kudkowski has 73, 79, 77. Garen Thomas, 78, 76, 79. Adam Yates, 78, 79, 72. This team is way too many, way too bad. Dan Martinez, 78, 77, 74. Castro Viro, 73, 74, 79. Sivakov, 77, 74. Quite, quite shit. Uh, Lorenzo Plus, 76, 77, 72. Jonathan Alvarez, 72, 77. Dylan Van Barle, 77 in nowhere. I actually don't know why I read that. 75 in cobbles seems maybe a bit low for uh, the Dutch rider. Intermarché, we're back to stinkers. Good. Pasqualon, 76 and 73 for sprint and hill respectively. Van Papel, 73 cobbles, 75 sprint. Quinton Ammons, uh, 70 hills, sorry, 70 sprint and 75 in hills. ISN, led by Michael Wood, 77, 81. Van Marke, 81 cobbles. Demarque, um, solid stats for Baruda, although I do believe that his um, average is slightly too high with 75 and 70 hill in, uh, sorry, 75 and 77 in mountain and hill. Dan Martin, 78 um, in acceleration, 75 mountain feels a bit low for the uh, the Irishman, 77 in hill. Alex Dowsett, 78 time trial, the Ben Hammans, complete stats overall. We'll take a quick look at Christopher Froome, 73 mountain, 71 hill, 72 time trial. Poor Christopher, man, poor Christopher. Jumbo Visma, led by Woe Van Art, 82.4, so not on Bernal or on Van Eppel's level. 83 flat, 75 acceleration, 74 mountain, 81 time trial, 81 stamina, 83 cobbles, 79 sprint, 81 hill, 83 downhill, 80 prologue, 80 resistance. That's quite, quite a lot. Roglic, 82, 82, 80. Sepkus, 80, 76. Renewegen, 80 in sprint. Dumoulin, 77, 74, 80. Kloveg, 79, 79, uh, sorry, 79, 77, 74. George Bennett, 78, 79. Omen, 77, 75, feels a bit high. Jonas Vingegaard, 77, 76, 72. Mike Tennyson, 77 cobbles, 76 sprint. David Decker, 76 sprint. Tony Martin, finally, 74 time trial for the German. Tobias Foss, who stopped in the German real life, 72 mountain, 73 hills, 73 time trial. I'd expect him to get a little upgrade very soon. Lotto Sudal, 81 for Caleb Ewan in the uh, overall, 82 in the sprint. Tim Wellens has 77 in hills. Durant is complete. Gilbert 77 cobbles, 75 hills. John Ingle 77 cobbles, 76 sprint. And Gerber Tyson, 76 sprint. I didn't expect him to be above 75. Um, Ham Van Uke, 75 mountain. Movie star, led by Miguel Ray Lopez, 81, 78. Enric Mas, 79, 77. Bala Valverde, 41 years old, 76 mountain, 80 hills. Still an absolute beast. Mark Soler, 77, 76. Nelson Oliveira, 78. Tantral Garza Cortina, 75 in cobbles, 76 in sprint. And finally, Sergio Samitier with 74-71. Kubica Asos, led by the European champion Giacomo Nizzolo, strong of his first ever Grand Tour win. He's got 79 in sprint, 72 in cobbles and 73 in hills, followed by Victor Campenart, 18 time trial for the Belgian. Dominico Pozzo with 76-75. Simon Clark, 76 in hills. And finally, Jan van Rensburg with some very complete stats for Baruda. DSM, led by Jai Henley, 79-77 for uh, the Australian. Romain Bardet, 78-78. Zoran Kraft Anderson, solid stats all around, 77 hill being the best one and 78 in time trial. Kisbol, 78 sprint. Tish Benoit, 75 and 78 and 76 in cobbles. Martin Tuzvelt, don't know why he's there, 72, 73. Top 4 Vlanderen being the worst team in this game, led by Sasha Vemes. 
um, with 72 in sprint, uh, being his only good stat. Direct Energy, led by Anthony Turgis, that's 79 cobbles for the French Rider, 72 in sprint, 74 in hills. Bonifacio, 77 in sprint. Pierre Latour, 75, 76, 75. Delaporte, 74, 72, 70. Alexis Villermoz, 73, 76. And Boisson Hagen with uh, some meh stats, but quite complete, uh, has to be honest. The retirement home is led by Mats Pedersen, and therefore on track Sigafredo. 77 time total, 76 cobbles, and 77 in sprint for the Fogon World Champion. Vincent Sennibelli, 77, 77, 73 for the rider I took to the Tour de France win last season. Pauke Monoma, 77, 79, 74. Jasper Sloven, 80 in flat, but most likely 79 in cobbles and 73 in sprint, and 75 in hill for the winner of Milano San Remo. Chicone, 76, 78. Brambia, 73, 76 for the rider who cannot cooperate with George Bennett. And finally, we've got UAE Emirates, led by the best rider in the game, Tadej Pogacar, 83.1. That is 0.5 ahead of Van der Poel and Egan Bernal, 82, 82, 76. However, apart from Cobbles, which is 59, not a single stat below 70, even the sprint is at 70. You've got 74 acceleration, 73 flat, 76 time total, 75 stamina, 70 sprint, 82 hill, 74 downhill, 81 prologue, 77 resistance. Do not ask me how this makes 83.1 because I'm not able to tell you. I don't know how the maths work. He does have A plus recovery though. Rafa Maika, 77-76 for the uh, rider with the most points in the Polka classification in the Tour de France uh, history in the 21st century. Gaviria, 79 in sprint. Christophe, 78 in sprint with 78 in cobble. Marc Hershey, 18 downhill and 18 hill. Formolo, um, 76-78. Matteo Trentin, 77 cobble, 78 sprint. Ulissi, uh, 78 in hill for the Italian rider. De La Cruz, 76-74. Costa, 73, 77, Brandon McNulty, 76, 75, and 76. And that is it for the ratings of the riders. Um, I've taken a look at the best riders from each team because I didn't want the video to be too long by taking a look at the third page of Jumbo Visma because nobody really gives a shit except one or like two people on Earth. Um, but yeah, that was uh, quite a long video, I think. It's about 20 minutes. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and want to see more of my content, on PCM 2021 or TDF 2021, then feel free to subscribe. Once again, massive thank you for the 2,000 subscribers, and I will see you probably either tomorrow or later today, I don't know when this is going to go out, for some more content on uh, the cycling gate. Have an amazing day. My name is Guillaume. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on,